one property that's useful to know about a set is whether it's countable or not. And for our purposes, we won't go too deep into this, but a set is going to be a set A, or let's call it B, is countable. A set B is countable if it's either if it's either finite meaning it contains a finite number of elements that that end at some point or or has as many elements or has as many let's call it objects as the set of natural numbers which was bolt faced n okay so what does this mean so for example the set a that has numbers from 1 to 100 is a finite set right it only has 100 objects inside of it so it's countable so set a is countable but so is this set let's say negative 99 negative 100 negative 101 and we go on infinitely subtracting uh, a 1 from each preceding number which will make up this set now this set is not finite however it it will have as many objects as the set of natural numbers so the set of natural numbers if you remember starts at one then goes to two then three and so on and we can map each element in set b to a unique element in in the natural number set for example i can map negative 99 to the element 2 and I can map negative 100 to 1 and I can map negative 101 to 3 and I could do this for each element in B to each element in the natural number set and this gives me accountability now even though set B is infinite it still happens to be countable because of this property the set a set that's not countable, for example, will be the set of, let's say, a set D, which uh, will be the point, the one dimensional set will be the interval from zero to one. Now we can rewrite this in uh, this type of notation, if you remember from algebra. This type of set, which is a set of all points x, where maybe I should mention, I should mention, just to be clear, that x is a real number. This set is not only infinite, but it's not countable. So set D is not, it's not countable because we can't easily map every element in this interval to an element in the natural numbers because there's no there's always a number there's always a real number between any two numbers you can pick in this interval for example if i want to try to pick a number between one half and three fourths i can but then there's going to be a number between that number that I choose, let's call it C, and then there's going to be a number between C and one half, call it T, and then there's going to be a number between. So there's never there's never an opportunity to single to single out an element here to map to the natural numbers, which makes this type of set on non-countable, which also means that the set of real numbers is not it's not countable.